A equals V minus U over T, and E equals QV. A equals V minus U over T. Acceleration in meters per second squared equals final velocity in meters per second minus the start velocity in meters per second, divided by the time taken in seconds. Another way to put this is that acceleration equals the change in velocity divided by the time taken. A equals V minus U over T. If an object's velocity changes, then its acceleration is equal to however much its velocity has changed, that is, its final velocity minus its start velocity, divided by the time it took for this change to happen. A equals V minus U over T. To make any values other than acceleration the subject of the equation, first multiply through by time, that is, move the T up next to the A. T A equals V minus U. From here, to make time the subject of the equation, divide through by acceleration, that is, move the A under the V minus U. T equals V minus U over A. Time taken equals final velocity minus start velocity divided by acceleration. A equals V minus U over T. To make final velocity the subject of the equation, first multiply through by time as before to get T A equals V minus U. Then add u to both sides, cancelling out the u on the right. T A plus u equals v. Time multiplied by acceleration plus start velocity equals final velocity. A equals v minus u over t. To make start velocity the subject of the equation, first multiply through by time as before, then add u to both sides again as we just did. Finally, subtract time and acceleration from both sides, cancelling the TA on the left. U equals V minus TA. Start velocity equals final velocity minus time multiplied by acceleration. This was a really complicated rearrangement, so skip back and watch the tricky bits again if you need to. I'd be surprised if anything this complicated showed up on the exam for anything other than a grade 8 or 9 question. Mostly just focus on learning the equation and how to put the numbers in. A equals V minus U over T. E equals QV. Energy in joules to move a charge through a potential difference equals the size of the charge in coulombs multiplied by the potential difference or voltage in volts. E equals QV. The energy it takes to move a charge through a potential difference is equal to the size of the charge multiplied by the potential difference. E equals QV. To make charge the subject of the equation, if you know energy and potential difference, divide through by potential difference, that is move the V under the E. E over V equals Q. Energy divided by potential difference equals charge. E equals QV. To make potential difference the subject of the equation, if you know the energy and the charge, divide through by charge, that is move the Q under the E. E over Q equals V. Energy divided by charge equals potential difference. E equals QV. This lesson's equations were A equals V minus U over T and E equals QV. Please re-watch this video as many times as you need to to make sure you succeed in your physics GCSE and IGCSE.